So while I was working today, uh, minding my own business and cutting some chicken, um, someone messaged me on the Instagram with like, a, basically I got a proposition, I guess you would say, uh, to play the game, uh, like an early access game to try out and see what's up uh, for, uh, for free. And I'm like, hell yeah, free content, baby. <laughs> I mean, pretty much, like, uh, <laughs> I enjoy enough playing games to play play them and see what's up. And, like, I like helping out uh, other developers to, uh, if, uh, like, to change something or, like, something to improve and stuff like that. Like, for me, it's, like, uh, no problem, to be honest, right? Um, so, today we'll be going with Boiling Steel. Uh, I was sent some premise and like what's the general storyline and stuff like that uh, but like you know y'all yeah, know i don't really want to expect anything from a game kind of <laughs> to not like break the immersion or whatever the only things i know it's like an science fiction fps kind of uh, still in early access, so it's like not fully out, but you can actually like uh, buy it on Steam and like uh, play yourself also. So, yeah, basically that. But we'll see what's up with that. I mean, I'm always down for anything in general, <laughs> but it was a little bit uh, surprising for me that uh, someone reached out to me, like asking to test out the game. I mean, I'm honored to be honest because I'm pretty pretty much no one on YouTube, <laughs> at least in my eyes. <sighs> okay, uh, stand subtitles. Uh, okay, settings controls. Head, forward movement. Yeah, head, normal play rotation. Yeah, constant means smooth. Turning, okay. Uh, yeah, video highest pixel density, whatever. I don't know. Audio, I would say a little bit quieter, but just a little bit. Okay, let's see what's up with that. <laughs> Um, oh, this is pretty much our, I think, difficulties. Uh, I tend to play the hardest ones, but I don't really want to, like... Wait, so... Starting off with dynamic VR shooters. Uh, no. Explorer... No. The injury is full flex species in robotics, eliminating an entire group of enemies without a single scratch. This complexity is for true connoisseurs of dynamic VR shooters. I'm not connoisseur, but I'm neither like starting out, but oh, yeah, let's go with that one, I don't, whatever. <laughs> We're just trying to see what's up with this game. <sighs> Whoa. Whoa! Oh! Welcome, rookie! First time in the Pioneer program? Strange feeling, huh? <laughs> your body is in a capsule at the orbital station, and your consciousness is here, in a steel shell. <laughs> Relax Whoa. and don't jerk. Listen to me, and everything will be just fine. It's like some kind of Japan. I understand you've had yeah, a long Japan. flight, I and see your katakana. body is still in hibernation. But we have a situation here, and command uses all available resources. There are jumps in neuroactivity on your monitor. Never teleported before? <laughs> Don't be afraid, Junior. When people and animals teleport, their bodies die. But your consciousness has been perfectly preserved in a robotic shell. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> That's a little bit... Too futuristic. <laughs> yeah. 
Whoa! You already heard the breaking news. The radicals launched a virus on our networks, and this rubbish beat the pre-installed programs for the robotic shells. Well, what's there? As the new foci of infection, these walking pieces of iron behave aggressively and kill all the things. But the situation is under control. There is an active stripping phase underway. Under the Pioneer program, all the free inhabitants of the colony have been mobilized. Even children help with the evacuation from infection zones. And our construction team was put into circulation. We are not soldiers. But mm -hmm. who cares? There are not enough military avatars, so we will use the shells of the engineering corps. They're only armed with a tool for construction work, but I will configure it for an extreme type of work. A nail gun on overdrive is better than a machine gun. <laughs> Your task is simple. Destroy infected robots and follow my instructions. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The Pioneer program <laughs> is good, but its interface is still unfinished. Your consciousness can only control the movements of the head and hands. Yeah. The legs and torso are controlled by the pre-installed walker driver. Classic for VR games. Attention. You should feel two controllers in your hands. In fact, they are not there. This is a software crutch. But it will help compensate for the shortcomings of not having a body. To move, use the stick or touch screen on the left controller. We know to that. rotate, <laughs> use the stick or touch screen on the right controller. Obviously. Get used to shell management. For a futuristic like design, that's pretty much accurate. Well, that's it. We assume that your week-long shell piloting course was completed. Love it. You still need to pass the exam, but then you are admitted onto my team. Just follow the lighted path. Okay. I f fuck. I remember one ref reference to the other like major game that is like pretty much the exact same style the on the pancake. But uh, I remember in time. But I mean, yeah, that's very like possible overall, right? Sci-fi, <laughs> like so much. This is the crash test section of the assembly plan. But now it works like an obstacle course for beginners. Okay. Make it through, and we'll consider the robotic shell operator certificate in your pocket. Whoa, Jesus. I swear in every game I'm scared of trivial things like that. You can use highlighted objects. The interaction algorithm programmed in your shell will take care of the rest. Try to remove the barrier and open your passage. Bring the manipulator to the lever on the wall. When now you need to master the dash. Yeah, yeah. This technique Whoa, will help your shell keep in good shape. To make a snatch in the right direction, move there and press the activator on the right control. Oh, nice. If you press the activator without moving, the shell will dash backward, which may just save your life. Ah, so we can like dodge obstacles or whatever. Everything is simple here. Pass this corridor without touching the lasers. Use movements okay. and snatches. And try not to be stupid. I have people just like you. Two dozen newcomers. They also need to be trained and coordinated. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I suck. You know, we are up for a challenge always in VR, but kind of like a little bit of tutorial is not. Doesn't hurt. What? Jesus. The trial by fire. You snatches to pass the corridor when the turrets are removed. Okay. Sure. <laughs> this is the last test. Pull the lever and use a series of snatches to get through while the door is open. If you hesitate, you'll crash into the sash and start over. Oh, okay. Okay. You know what's funny? When I play on Link, um, I mean, no, on the games that are not uh, like originally on the Oculus platform, uh, like, you know, the pulling things and stuff like that are by the trigger, but in Oculus uh, games are normally the grab 
mechanic, which is, I guess, a little bit weird. Okay. Get to the point, Sprague. Follow the bridge to the portal, and don't be afraid of rain. With such an operator, the shell will blow up before it becomes rusty. <laughs> uh, so we can be in the rain. Oh, whatever. Whoa. Sure. <laughs> Dash to the portal. <clears throat> For this mission, you will need two tools. A plasma welder and a multifunctional arrestor. What's that? Try to use them. Just in case, I will show you an operating manual. On the left hand of the shell is a holographic projection of the inventory. To call it, hold down on the grip button on the left controller. Raise your right hand to the selected instrument and hold down the grip button on the right controller. Wow. Hold grip buttons and pull out the projection of the instrument. What the hell? Just pull the manipulators to the sides and the tool will teleport from the warehouse straight to your hand. Don't be afraid to lose the instrument. You can get a new one at any time. Tool stores are full. You won't live long enough to exhaust them anyway. <laughs> to throw away the instrument, release the grip button on any controller. The spent tool will be returned to the storage repair conveyor. Very smart inventory. Like, I like the pulling mechanic and just like having the weapon in your hand. And just like, you can pull it and have it uh, ready smart this compartment is isolated the gateway is the energized look for a switchboard with a uh, backup power the switchboard is sealed cut off all fillings with a welding beam the switchboard is sealed cut off all fillings with a welding beam <laughs> Yeah, the okay. backup battery is off. Take the discharger. Direct the discharge into the switchboard's absorber. Charge the battery to the limit. Alright. Pull the gateway lever and hope there are no aggressive shells. What do you mean? Hello? This is the energy complex of cold electricity. The reactor is shut down because its radiation attracted infected shells. But now, the staff have been Whoa. evacuated. We need to start the reactor again to attract all robots in the area. Pull these bastards away from other objects and put them all together in a heap so special forces can kill them with one blow. Need energy. The reactor here. zone is blocked. The control terminal is located one level higher. Look for the stairs leading up. Terminal disruptor batteries are also in. Come on, right. all for, oh. You know what to do. Charge them all. All free. <laughs> okay. Energy pump for the reactor has been started. The central terminal's power has been restored. Use the start lever and what? The <laughs> it's getting thick. Can you feel it? Now we're going to have a party. On my scanners, I see thousands of aggressive robots, and they're all running towards you. Um, get back to the portal now. Where? Get oh back. shit! This is not the time to be heroic. We still have a lot to do. I blocked the gateway. This will delay them a bit, but let's find another way. Bingo! There is a technical portal under the reactor. Get down and find it. I want a gun though. So, oh, the wear discharges. We still need this shell. Go down, use the elevator. Okay. Bam. Ha! 
The gateway is destroyed. The bastards broke through. I suggest you hurry. The portal will be active for only a few seconds to make sure infected shells don't have time to pass through. What is this? Jump into the portal. Oh, shit. Hurry up. Coming. It's a very long tutorial. <laughs> This is a cyber lab server room. The first aggressive shells appeared here. The complex carried out evacuation and cleaning. There should Death be space, no enemies. I think, right? But of course, that's not accurate. I know maybe that space had so, a different. I prepared the overdrive firmware for your tools. In overload mode, they will not work for long. What's but the, at the end we'll of the turn corridor? into slaughter kajiggers. Your task is to find and destroy the infected servers in this block. Oh, Jesus Move your fucking iron hell. butt. <laughs> What's the under? Ew, that's like some robots? I can see the face though, I don't know. Wait. Right, I can see someone there. No! Ah! Get out! <laughs> Wait, can I like... Oh, I have something! Wait, ah! <laughs> okay, turn! Why is he standing down? Oh, okay. So, obviously, on the shield we can't shoot, but why wow. he just stand there? <laughs> this is your first dead robot, Junior. Big bastard. What's interesting is that I can't really... Okay, so red are tools, blue are weapons. I can't really, like, shoot and move. I really, like, need to, like, stop and then shoot, which is... Interesting. Oh, there's gonna be a fight here for sure, right? God damn it. Okay, that works. Long help? Help for what? Dendro, do not enter off rights person only. I mean, I am. No, no, no. Wait, how did I do that? Here, probably, right? No, yeah. It's interesting that you can't really hold one weapon all the time, you need to like change every once in a while. Okay. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh, can I take that? No. Nope. Do not cross. Oh wait, I wanna try something. You are there, Junior. Can I dodge while Ah oh, okay. That makes sense now, like, I can sh like, for example, shoot and dodge, so I don't really need to walk while shooting. Okay, that's actually a good thing. Wow. 
what to do. Ah, this point server, yeah. <laughs> now we are done. Go back to the portal. Okay. Maybe I actually chose um, like a too easy. Difficulty. Doesn't that seem strange oh, well. to you? Right. <laughs> so far, so good. Okay. What? <laughs> I am loading you with new tools. Mass Effect. That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> Go and destroy all the aggressive shells. Aggressive shells. That's what's called. Oh. Hey. What are you waiting for? Crush them all! What the hell is this? Whoa! Um... <laughs> Did they explode or something? Oh shit! Oh damn! No no no, don't run! <laughs> I don't like this weapon. <laughs> Show yourself. Oh, here is the aim. I did not notice that. Okay. Good start, Junior. One family is safe, but it's too early to relax. Go to the next house. Ah, oh, when I see through this, the aim screen, like here. <laughs> oh. I mean, that makes sense, right? I guess. <laughs> Don't touch me! Okay. Nice. <laughs> the aim works pretty well. Like, I can pretty much shoot them from a distance. I'm not even sure how should I, like, look uh, into this game. Like, just normally or just, like, from an early access perspective, right? Because, I, I mean, I've never played, like, an early access game, to be honest. So, oh, no, no, no. So for me, it's kind of hard to tell, but like for an early access game, it it runs runs well. Like I would not be surprised if the final game would be like no, don't snipe me. Would be like uh, in this shape and form. Oh. Great job, Junior! Look at you! You've got a knack for this! But like, sci-fi as fuck! <laughs> Go to the mine. There are two more houses. Only Junior, no need to rush. My ex lives with her new freak in the back house. Well, you understand. New freak. Let them get nervous. I feel like I'm still confused about the story, but like, I know it's, I think, still a tutorial, but what's happening? <laughs> oh shit, he has a green launcher too. Shoot in the crowd. Oh Jesus. Okay. Bam. One. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay.
Okay. Ha! Everything here is in order. Return to the teleport hub. Go to the portal. I would appreciate some kind of music, like a kind of dynamic fighting music or anything at all. Instead, I just hear winds. <laughs> winds of the universe. <laughs> Mayhem. Listen, Junior, is the capsule with your body at Orpheus One Station now? Then I have some bad news. Information was received about the hacking and infection of all orbital servers of the Orpheus class. Security robots and technical shells have gone crazy. They're mm -hmm. killing everyone in their path. And after the robots deal with the station personnel, they will begin to destroy hibernation capsules, the bodies of the operators. Your real body, Junior, can be torn to pieces at any time. So now you have to save yourself. You do not need to return to the body. You can't argue with robots. Take this shell to the station and hurry up. Your time is running out. I will light your way. So it's pretty much I feel like this each portal that we can go into is kind of like a separate uh, level in the storyline. I would assume because there's Wait, one, two, three, four, five. And then you can go further, maybe. So it's kind of like the main area or whatever. Okay, but I'm assuming f we finally finish the tutorial. Whoa, what's happening? What? What is it? Give me a sec. Yes? <laughs> Some crap. Hacked teleport hub. It takes time to restore it, but you don't have that time. Run to the hyperlift capsule. It will take you into orbit in a matter of seconds. Overloads are not terrible for this shell. I will light your way. <laughs> light my way. Get into the hyperlift capsule and I'll activate autopilot. You will be at the station dock in a minute. Okay, I feel like the main uh, game starts now, finally. Jesus. <laughs> With, it will be like catapulting to the space. Ooh, okay. Yeah, an elevator to the space. Huh. Whoa. Rookie, are you still alive? Well, glory to the nanochips. What's happened there? Everything is very bad, man. They constantly lie to us. We are in complete shit. The whole Whoops. damn planet is in shit. <laughs> Full evacuation announced. The government has already left the planet. What is this? Holy crap. Whoa. Are we in the middle of some kind of political war here? And we are somewhere. Just open. Okay, thank you. Hmm. Armory. Whoa! Hey! I can't fight you now! Oh, come on! Uh, <laughs> I still hear that someone is killing me. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Wait, so... I died, so now what? Oh, I'm in a capsule. <laughs> no. Oh. Vital signs are at a critical level and continue to fall. Further life support is impossible. Activating hibernation mode. <laughs> hmm. Don't shoot this way. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> he killed himself. <laughs> 
The central nervous system is restored. Exit hibernation mode. Situation critical. Extensive tissue damage and organ failure found. Activating artificial life support system. Launching pioneer protocol. Transferring consciousness. Hello. Please do not worry. I transferred your consciousness to the free resources of the orbital station. While the body is recovering, you appear here in the form of a hologram. I am the neural network, of the Orpheus model orbital station. I'm your guide, equipped with a basic set of social <sighs> algorithms. Bleach. The virus damaged the archives, so I can't look up your name. But I do see you have a pilot license, for the engineering core robotic shells. I transferred your regeneration capsule to another cabin, in order to de-energize the empty modules, thus directing the remaining energy to the regeneration unit. The nervous system has been restored, but there is not enough energy for the rehabilitation of the whole body. To I get it. To be more precise, there are only a few hours left of available energy. Ah, Therefore, good to know. there is no time to explain. Get down there and find us energy. Now calm down. I transferred your consciousness to an empty, but still working, shell on the surface of the planet. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I understand. <laughs> we were dying and we need energy. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. There was a massacre. Don't you remember the virus attack? You participated in cleaning infected shells. But then the robots attacked and killed the inhabitants, before help arrived. Let's find, and activate the emergency lights. This shell model contains an interface, Mavis, multifunctional explorer tool for integration in systems. It is implemented as a standard tablet. On the controller there is a button for its activation. Okay. There are many functions to Ooh. be discussed later. For Tablet. Now, click on the connect button near the available device. That's so much what better. The, hell is happening here? the bodies in the bags have been here since the day of the incident. Ew. Over the years, they should have turned decomposed. Ew. It is somber here and reeks of death. Oh no shit, bitch. <laughs> There was a line of defense. I wonder how long, it held back the onslaught. Redirect power, from the energy barrier to lighting. Use the interface, mateys. Hmm. Jesus. Judging by the fragments of the shells, it was an intense battle. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> this module is almost empty, but there is enough energy to scan a sector and hack another shell. I'm bringing you back. Okay. <laughs> I feel like there's not much explanation <laughs> every each uh, level. I kinda can guess the story. I must say that we were like the lucky last for you, you're the only survivors. survivor at the station. Yeah. During the incident, you were in the antibiotic capsule and it has survived. But you will soon die if you do not get us more energy. Come on. Many years That's have mystic. passed since the day of the incident. Zero four Michael, five in one. case the virus gets here, I programmed a code on the door. I don't think the crazy shells are smart enough to find it. But when you get into your laptop to watch your dirty videos, you'll see it's locked. <laughs> dirty That's videos? You'll find the code. Combination, zero, four, five, one. Great, the code is found. I think that in such laptops it will be possible to find a lot of useful information. Now open the door and go to the substation. 
I don't feel safe. <laughs> but like, wow. should I? What happened here? It seems this place was stormed by a legion of robots. Cool. Great. Energy transfer completed. Bringing you back to the station. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you are welcome. We have a little energy, so there's time to talk. And the most important thing you need to know is information on the incident. And I'm not talking about a Please, cyber attack and crazy me. robots. Everything is clear about that. It was in all the news. The incident is what I call what happened after. Whoa. I watched a flash of bright light swallow the whole planet. This light reached me. After that, the broadcast ceased, and all the station personnel died for no apparent reason. <laughs> it was like a weapon of mass destruction. But such a powerful and deadly weapon has never existed. Therefore, one of our main tasks is to find out what kind of device caused this, and neutralize it. Great. I knew I could count on you, partner. This is our planet. Most of the infrastructure on right. its surface looks lifeless. But some complexes are still functioning. In those complexes, I've recorded increased shell activity. Mm -hmm. But not all of them are aggressive and crazy. Some shells have grouped together and work as a team. Most likely, they are controlled by the surviving colonists. But for reasons unknown to me, these groups are fighting not only with infected robots, but also with each other. So it's not worth counting on hospitality. In any case, you need some kind of protection. I can't Please. break combat shells. They have a powerful firewall. Therefore, we will use the familiar models of the engineering core <laughs> with a technical tool. The tool of course, is not a weapon, but I will try to adjust it to a stressful mode of operation. When overloaded, what? the arc of the spark gap and the welding beam cause significant damage. A nail gun shoots nails over long distances. But that's all in theory. How about some practice? Should we start? Yes. Go to the control panel. Here we will plan all operations, choosing objects on the planet's surface and those available to hack shells. Oh, all the okay. information about upcoming missions you will find here. Also here you will be able to find collected data about your enemies and events of the cataclysm period. Mm -hmm. You can make upgrades and change settings right from here. Now, let's get to work. Okay, so... We have different shows that we can go into. We have different tools, mods. Okay, uh, signal amount, so health, second capacity, ability use count, dash cooldown, okay, so that's different stats, um, plasma cutter, has become available and works in manual mode, okay, negative modifier, Shows um, our increased possibility of a short series when fetching at all. Uh huh. Missions. Would you like to start the battle? Yeah. Please! Choose an enable mission. Mission rewards, battery, I guess XP. Yeah. Security systems. Zone of increased activity. So it's like modifiers for the. Okay. Huh. You should know, the shells always have two tools. I hack them so that the tool from the blue slot is effective for long Finally. range combat, and from red for the close. Remember this, the tools were hacked hastily. They're unstable. But the algorithm can be improved, allowing for the creation of new firmware. I will analyze the operation of devices at the time of their successful implementation and improve the settings as I'm able. Simply put, the more enemies you kill with a particular tool, the better the outcome will be. Let's try testing the hacked tools with something more useful. Find the energy at the center of this platform and empty it. Hmm. Bad 
back to business. The enemy goes for hand to hand combat. Use melee weapons from the red slot. Oh, where did you come from? Okay, sure. What? Shooters ahead. Use ranged weapons from the blue slot against them. Oh, can I, I move that? No, I don't think so. Okay. Come here. <laughs> Get them. Get out. You too. Hamster. And the cavalry has arrived. Watch out for the big guy. Oh, shit. Oh, now I have aim. Okay, so the more I use the weapon, it gets the upgrades. Great, now I can do headshots or whatever now. Everything is clear. There will be no more guests. Now it's getting more These and were more. These virus-infected shells. Such robots do not make contact. I studied a similar instance at the station after I eliminated it. Its primary directive is the search and destruction of everything mm -hmm. that the friend or foe system does not recognize. Well, Battery. that's it. We just need to obtain the energy and leave. Gucci. Great. Energy transfer completed. Bringing you back to the station. Bring me back. <laughs> this is the <cool. laughs> uh, So basically these are like bonus missions when we can acquire, I guess, new tools and like uh, extra life, stuff like that. Oh, here we have upgrades. What's that? Under signal extra communications modules are provided for an interrupted operation in difficult conditions. It's kind of like we can do upgrade in the menu, but also when we are using certain tools, they upgrade automatically. So for example, here we used like uh, a lot of uh, nail gun and now we have actually an aiming method. S uh, he here I, f I suppose there's like a, s a salve. This, I don't know, discharge or something, and uh, this maybe like heal, I don't know, not sure. So it's kind of like we can upgrade small stuff here, as we earn Crypto Matrix from missions. And uh, yeah, let's play one more and uh, after that we'll just uh, summarize, I think. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like... power station and kill everything in your way. Oh, brutal. <laughs> it's kinda like, with, with time, this game improves. But it's kinda like, you need to really put a lot of time into it. Which is, I guess, fine. It really depends on the, on the game, right? Some are fast uh, improved and some are just like, you know, you just enjoy your time. Hey! out I feel like I still would uh, appreciate moving at the same time when uh, shooting I could definitely pick up harder difficulty for sure I guess I could go for veteran or anything the battery okay I have a general idea what's up with this game so let's just do a quick uh, summary back at my home 
Uh, yeah, th this one is actually like my um, uh, Rift home. I kind of like resetted everything and kind of like rebuilt in a, I guess, more simplistic style. I don't know. It's just basic. There's not much uh, here, but there will be probably more. Uh, as long as I will be hanging out here. Oh, and then there's my throne to just like look at the city. <laughs> yeah. uh, so basically about the game, it's uh, it's alright. I mean for the, for the price uh, that uh, it is, I think like 20 euro or something. Uh, and still in early access, bear in mind that. Uh, it works pr perfectly fine. That, that's like I had no problems with the mechanics. I really liked the idea of uh, sci-fi with uh, like a dyni dynamic action, like uh, like a shooter kind of. Um, it's kind of like I actually would wish that in the actual release uh, you could walk uh, while shooting because I think it adds a little bit more dyna dynamic to the battles. Um, yeah, but like you need to spend a lot of like a bit of a, of time in a tutorial, and then you pass to the actual games. Um, store wise, I not sure. It I mean on the start it's like it's really slow. You can like you are really introduced um, like slowly, and then it can like picks up. It's not deep. But it, for the general consensus, consensus of understanding the game, it's uh, all right. Um, it, there's nothing really groundbreaking uh, uh, about this game. There's like I appreciate uh, going for the sci-fi because I, it's actually a pretty good representation of a VR sci-fi game. If we are talking about uh, uh, graphics design, it's pretty much like. Like like future, right? The Mass Effect uh, things. Um, I mean, no uh, aliens. I'm just talking about the environment in general. Um, portals, like yeah, pure sci-fi. It's actually a cool, uh, uh, cool like uh, concept that uh, your we weaponry of choice uh, evolve while you are in combat. It's kind of like you actually have to use them in order to fully develop them to the max level. <laughs> Which is like, yeah, another like new concept, like new in a VR space. Not really in a uh, gaming world, but yeah. But it's, it's a pretty cute game and it's still in early access, so I would assume uh, the full uh, game will be like pretty good even better than what it is which is already fine um, apparently like uh, I think I saw like PD played it like a uh, few months ab ago and it was such a different game from from what it is now so like the developers care about this obviously so it's always nice to see if the game is backed up by people who develop develop that right and is updating um but yeah i mean yeah it's pretty 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 fun i would actually be more interested if uh, there would be an additional um i guess mode game mode after the release maybe in like a dlc or whatever um where you could play like in a multiplayer um like in a sci-fi sci uh, scenarios, just like battle arena, stuff like that. I feel like this game w would be pretty cool as a shooter m multiplayer. Maybe just like acute. And it <laughs> crashed to the quest, yeah. The Link is still um, doing his job. It's kind of like now every half an hour, it resets automatically, periodically actually. Actually each half, half an hour, I don't know if it's kind of like set up by the system or whatever, but I don't think it's a coincidence now. But yeah, still badass or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's not uh, much more to say about it. It's it's cute. And uh, yeah, it's uh, fun if you're like a really big sci-fi fan. 
like in terms of Mass Effect, Dead Space, kinda things like that. No aliens though, but maybe no, it's just yeah. It, there will be just like drones, robots. That's kind of like what is the the world in. Yeah, pretty good.